Hello, this is Brian from W7R, and I'm excited to show you something that I found very surprising. So I was going to set up some batteries uh, made from copper, galvanized nails, um, zinc coated, and just um, water, salt solution, with maybe some hydrogen peroxide. Well, interesting enough, before adding the hydrogen peroxide or the salt, I thought I'd read what voltage all these cups were able to make. I don't know how well you can see, but each one has one of these in it. I hope you can see that well, but that is a nail, a zinc coated nail attached to copper with a big ball of copper on the other side. So each one has a connection like that. So let me show you what I what I saw. I'm gonna get my multimeter, turn it to DC voltage. This is D DC voltage. Okay, just to the air. So I'm gonna place this somewhere you can see it. Sorry for the delay here. Gotta be careful with this thing. Oh, so much glare. Can you read that? I think you can. Alright, well nonetheless, let me show you. I've got a negative and a positive end over here that I've marked out. And, uh, take these wires over here. Maybe you'll be as surprised as I was. Let's see. Is it negative volts or positive? See. Leave that like that. And it says 10.33 volts. 10 volts. And this is just water, nails, and copper. I find that pretty amazing. Uh, don't know what you think, but wow, we've created a battery for sure. Now, I want to see how high I can make the voltage in DC if I add the salt and the hydrogen peroxide so I'm gonna leave these in there uh, let's see okay yeah it's still reading correctly I don't know if you can see but there's a little part where it says voltage down here and uh, that's verification that's measuring in volts and not millivolts so first I'm gonna add some salt I'm just excited as you are so I'm over here to oh sorry negative volts just gotta flip these. Minor mistake. Same thing. I got something sticky on my arm. I'll get that off in a bit. Oh crap, it's epoxy. One second. Okay, I'm I'm back. Uh, let's continue this video. So it's at 10.56 volts. So I'm gonna add some salt and see what happens. I'm gonna add a little bit to each cup, you know. Let's see. Looks like decrease a little. Try a little in here. Little in there. 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 Okay, to my surprise, it lowered the voltage. Let's shake them a little and see if it makes a difference. 
I'm trying to add solutes to the solution. Oh, it's going back up. I think maybe it's because I need to be mixed, but I'm going to let that sit. And while that is becoming a diluted solution, I'm going to add a little hydrogen peroxide. So there, it's going up. Just because initially the salt was just a solid in there, so that's not as fun. Let's see, my goal, I guess, my goal was 9 volts, but since I accomplished that so easily, my new goal has probably got to be 12 volts. And I think I can get there. Okay, so it's rising. As it's rising, let's add some hydrogen peroxide. Oh geez, it's soaring. 11 volts. It's making it go down again, but I think that's a temporary effect. Okay, now it's time for some mixing. It is rising. I'm not sure what it'll rise to. Now each one of these cups is a cell. Um, consisting of an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. So we wait for the voltage to rise a bit. Give it some more shaking, make sure none of these are actually touching. They don't seem to be. I wish I could give you an aerial view. I'll take a picture once I'm done so you can see. And I'll place it on my blog or in the video. Okay, so it's going down, it's going up. Not really sure what to think right now. Let's see what happens. Add a little bit more salt like that last time. And mix it. Hmm, I don't know if I'll reach my goal. Wow, alright, so that's surprising for me. I would assume that the voltage would be rising, and I mean it is slowly, but I expected something greater. Still very interesting. Rising slowly, slowly, slowly. I wish I could just, I don't know, shake them all at one time. But it's kind of hard to do that. Now I can't let this mid, uh, this video go over, uh, I guess like 14 minutes. I've had problems with YouTube, so I'm probably going to have to end it now, and if I get anything else crazy, I'll put it in this video as well. Thank you for watching, though, and let me give you an aerial view. No need for a picture, I'll actually take you on a journey. So, I'm hoping you can see that well.
and this is where the positive and the minus are. And you see all those cups. You turn on the light. And maybe you can see even better. Alright, well thank you. Um, visit my blog. Tell me what you think. Leave comments. Subscribe. Need that motivation to keep on going. Thanks.